Hi, my name is Rod Boothby. I run a blog called Innovation Creators, and I'm a member of a group called the Enterprise Irregulars. Their motto is, Boo, old school enterprise IT. Hooray, beer. Or at least hooray, Enterprise 2.0 and the use of Web 2.0 technologies. The Enterprise Irregulars have their own website, enterpriseirregulars.com. It aggregates all their blog feeds. The group includes people like Jeff Nolan, Andrew McAfee, Susan Skrupski, David Talbot, Ismail Galimi, Dennis Howlett, Ross Mayfield, Vinny Merchandani, Zoli Erdos, Jason Wood, Jerry Bowles, myself, about 20 other people. But this is not about the group, it's about their amazing logo. Okay, I designed it myself. And this screencast is about how you can build a similar logo using an open source piece of software called Inkscape. You can get it at uh, inkscape.org. Okay, without making you wait any m further, let's... Boo-witting! beer! Let's jump right in and take a look at the Inkscape application. Inkscape is a scalable vector graphics drawing engine. That means you can zoom in on the graphics that you create in great detail without getting any of the fuzziness or the blurring of edges that you would with a bitmap graphic or a ping. To create a logo like this, you start by going over to the left and selecting rectangle or square and drawing it out. You can edit the colors of the outline or the fill to do that, you select the pointer, click on the rectangle that you've created, right-click on it, select Fill and Stroke. This little dialog comes up. You can adjust the fill. You can select any color you want for the fill. You can select Stroke Paint and select any color you want for the outline. The next step in creating a logo like this is to create those little cogs. The way you do that is you select simply one of those uh, polygons or stars on the right. You choose a certain spoke ratio and rounded corners and you get a shape that looks a bit like this. Note that when you click on the shape you can actually change how much it rotates either way. You just have to double click on it to get those kinds of bars. Um, scale it to any size. Once you've got it, the next step is to change the shading internally so that it matches the kind of shading that's in the Enterprise Irregulars logo. Light on the top and dark on the bottom. I use this linear grad gradient to select that and I've got a couple stored already so I'll select this one. Go over to the stroke and scale it down a bit so it matches the other ones, something like 0.25. Okay, that's starting to look a little bit like this, but maybe the gradient it isn't exactly right. So I go over here and I adjust the gradient. I can pull it down to the left-hand corner. It's not exactly right either. There we go. Now, in order to create the little glass effects that you see on these ones, I then have to go in and create a copy of this. create the copy. I cut out part of the copy and I start to do that by first creating a circle on top of it. I select the pointer, select this shape plus the shape below it. Up here there's a section called path. I can select path and select the intersection of these two shapes. I'm left with just that piece I then bring that piece up here and change the way it behaves. First I select the fill and I select something that's mostly transparent and then I go in and I select the uh, stroke the outline and again I'm gonna go for something that is mostly transparent okay once I've got that I wanna do two things the first is to make sure that it is behaving in the way that I'm hoping it to uh, it does by adjusting the distribution of that gradient across the shape. Bring it in a little bit like that. 
And then I'm going to zoom in and line it up perfectly. Okay, so you repeat that a few more times over for each of the different shapes that are there. To write the text, it's simply selecting text and then typing in whatever you want. So good luck with any of the diagrams that you choose to create or logos. Please stop by the Enterprise Irregular site. Check out the latest and greatest in Enterprise 2.0, Web 2.0 technology for the Enterprise. My name's Rod Boothby. Thank you very much.